Hello, SolidWorks users. I hope all the experts are doing great in their fields. Here is Edgebird. Today, I am coming up with a quick modeling and animation tutorial for this. So, it, you can tell it as a tea filling in the cup type tutorial or a coffee filling in the cup type tutorial. So, let's uh, jump to our modeling phase. So, the complete animation is three parts and one assembly okay so now go to your solidworks press ctrl n and select the part click ok so first we are making our cup so make sure your unit are set to the mmgs if not you can change it here and select now select the top plane select sketch Select circle and starting from the origin, make your circle dia of 60. And if you are not aware of this mouse gesture, you can right click and dragging your mouse, it will enable your mouse gesture. Okay, so now apply the dimension to the circle of 60 mm. Go to the feature, select extrude boss base and extrude it up to the length of 80 mm. Click OK. Select zoom to fit and now we are making a hollow shape uh, which gives us a shape of a glass. Uh, which has a thickness of 6 mm by selecting this face it will remove this face and uh, click ok so yeah our glass shape is ready so select this display style as a hidden line visible so I will tell you why I selected this select the front plane select sketch this normal to select spline now we are making the cup handle okay so it's and pre shape uh, you can make is that you like it okay and if you have not enabled this uh, spline handles you can go to the option and in the system option you will find sketch and enable this checkbox Press OK. You can adjust a little bit here. You can make it as your own. Yes. Okay. Now go to the feature. If you're done with this plan, go to the feature, swap boss base. Select circular profile and select the dia of 6 mm. And select this plan. So if your spline, uh, if this profile is excess uh, is crossing this thickness okay so uh, after completing the command you can go to the spline and uh, make it uh, just make the spline little bit inside so it will came inside okay so don't uh, exit the spline uh, sorry profile at the exit the thickness of this class so we are now done back to the shaded view and now we have to apply some fillets over here so for this i am going to select this round type fillet so select this face 
by yeah. pressing the right mouse button you will jump to the next tab for the selection okay select this face again right click and select this face so it will make the round shape according to the thickness click ok now uh, I like to apply the fillet at the bottom so so we are selecting this age type fillet and select this the radius of 10 and this we are done click ok so yes our cup is ready just applying the colors to this so make sure you have complete model selected and then you select the color ok so we are now done so press ctrl s and save it as a name of cup now select ctrl n now we are moving further to our second part which is bottom layer of uh, the cup So yeah, now select this top plane, select sketch, and yes, we further have to measure this uh, uh, inside dia. Okay, so it is 48 mm. So uh, back to the sketch, select the circle. And starting from the origin, give it to the dimension of 48 mm. Okay, so make sure you don't extrude it. We are not going to extrude it. Select the front plane. Okay. And make a line vertical. I'm pressing the normal view okay and now we are not applying any dimension to it it will move freely okay and press exit sketch go to the feature select swap for space and it will automatically select the path now we have only select, have to select our profile press ok and now we are done with our bottom layer applying the material oh, sorry color of the which is look like a coffee type color yes this brown color okay make sure you have selected the whole part not any face okay now press ctrl s and save it lower it is our bottom view so i am saving it as a b layer save it and now is control n okay select top plane select sketch now select circle and it is our top layer so it is same the dia of our bottom layer is 48 mm okay now you can extrude it uh, i am here extruding it to the thickness of 2 mm but uh, you can take 3 mm 4 mm as you want and now we are selecting the front plane as we have already select uh, also selected in the bottom layer so now select this sketch and apply the point select the point and uh, snap it to the origin okay now exit this and uh, applying the colors same as our bottom layer and click ok now control s 
and uh, it is our top layer so i am giving it is a name as a top layer now save it now we are done with the modeling phase and now we are move towards the assembly part okay so press ctrl n select assembly make sure you don't close any of these parts as you have to browse them individually so first we go to the eye icon and drop down menu and select this view origin okay. so we are now going to snap the cup origin with the assembly model origin okay what it does it will fix our component and uh, it has common planes okay so it will make easy to snap any mate in the assembly of parts now sorry uh, select the insert component and drag our bottom layer select mate select this face and this face click ok now move it a little bit up select the bo bottom face and this face so it will make it coincident and click ok so now we are all out our top layer select this and make sure this point will be at bottom in assembly okay select this face and this face select coincident meet now i'm making this cup uh, transparent so now here is the trick which will complete our animation select this bottom layer Go to the swift command and here you can see the sketch 2 which is underdefined by showing this icon of minus icon. Okay. Now edit this sketch, it will tell you to save the assembly. We are saving it as assembly 1. Okay. Now select this point. This end point of line and this point of top layer and make it coincident. So, what it does is okay. First, we have to exit this part model, part editing model. Okay. So, what it does, it will whenever you move this top layer up and down, it will automatically reduce the height of the bottom layer. So for seeing that you have to press this rebuild button or press ctrl b in your keyboard so yeah we are done so let's just move with the animation part press ctrl 7 go to the motion study make sure here animation is selected expand the menu and applying the motor we are applying a linear motor so select this point okay and this space so yes and you can apply speed as you want and uh, we are done so by uh, on if you want to make the animation smoother you can make a fps of 30 and if you have real view graphics i don't have any so so enable it and it will show you a, a smooth animation so now we are calculating this make sure that the longer the seconds or the time uh, the height will automatically exist to the cup so just play this so yes we are done and hope you learn something new and 
and if you successfully completed this animation you can share it your story on the instagram if possible with uh, tagging us and we are reshare it by mentioning your name so thank you for your time and don't forget keep designing thank you